Why do I backpack? I think it's in my DNA. I think that's what draws me to the mountains, to hiking and backpacking is the, uh, the adventure, the uncertainty, and the um, having everything on your back that you're taking with you. I, like many others that love backpacking, obviously love the sunrises and the sunsets and you know the physical and mental challenges that go with backpacking. Um, I think it really teaches you a lot about yourself. I backpack as a means of decompressing from everyday life. We get so wrapped up in all of the modern conveniences of our world and, and get so wrapped up in working and earning a living and, and being consumers and backpacking is a way for me to disconnect from that even temporarily and hit the reset button and just be in nature and appreciate all of the wonderful things that that the wild has to offer us this answer has been ever evolving ever since i was a kid but um to sum it up it's for my overall overall well-being uh, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, and social uh, wellness, um, which has been ever, s I don't know, ever so more important uh, the last few months. Why I like to go on hikes is because I just set up the tent and fires. The other thing is uh, I believe in a, a higher power in just going out in the, into the wild, into the wilderness, and just seeing the creation and, and, and everything that's going on around me just, just gives myself more proof of what I believe in. And that to me is just a, it's a spiritual thing, um, being able to do that. And it helps me revitalize and, and renew my spirituality every time I do it. So that's one of the main reasons I do it too. I backpack because I like being in an environment where the only things that matter are the things that matter. And I backpack because in a complex world, you can and you should live simply. Why do I hike? Let's see. Well, I love walking. I love exercise. Um, I've been doing a lot of adventure races over the year and things like triathlons where you're swimming and biking and running. So I always have loved physical fitness. And uh, the older I get, I guess the more and more I like slowing things down and just going for things like walks. I don't think there's anything more satisfying to me than just a nice long walk. And then on top of that, there are very few things in this world that I love more than nature. Um, I firmly believe that there is nothing mankind can create that can even come close to matching the beauty that nature can just naturally provide for us. On top of that, nature never judges you. It's constant, it's always there. And like I said, it's just so beautiful out there. So when you take two things that I love, just walking, physical exercise, and nature, um, I guess it just makes sense to be able to love walking out in nature. And so, yeah, that's why I love hiking. That's why I love backpacking. Why I hike is because I never really knew what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, my whole life. Never really knew. I did a lot of getting in trouble when I was younger. Tried college twice, both before the Marine Corps and after the Marine Corps. So I also tried the Marine Corps. Thought I was going to do that forever. Um, but that didn't take, I mean, I enjoyed it, it went great, but that wasn't what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And then when I learned about the Appalachian Trail, about halfway through that trail, I realized that I just felt that this was something that spoke to me on like a, on like a deeper level. It just did, it just felt right. And so I followed that. I followed that for the last eight years. I've just kept hiking and it still has felt right. And I don't know if I can totally quantify or define why it feels the way it does. I just know that it does. And that's good enough for me. I've always had a background with the outdoors since I was a kid. My dad would, uh, you know, take me on the little weekenders 
uh, car camping stuff. And then as I moved on to high school, I had a buddy and uh, the two of us would uh, hike the mountain ranges down there in Southern Arizona near Tucson. And uh, then as I moved on to uh, college, uh, I worked for both outdoor programs at Weber State University and uh, Northern Arizona University. And my uh, number one respons responsibility was uh, guiding and uh, sharing the outdoors with people. And then in 2012, uh, I ended up doing my first through hike of the Colorado Trail and it changed my life. Um, I used to be your typical guy with the 40, 50 pound backpack and you know do four, five, six miles a day. But uh, now I'm all this uh, little ultra lighter guy. And uh, well, I'm not little, but uh, I got the little backpack. And uh, the main reason is, you know, to enjoy myself more and not to put as much stress on my body. And uh, and uh, it's, it's a great uh, sense of accomplishment when you can knock out 20, you know, miles or whatever you hike, you know, in a day. It's just great. We love to hike because it's free, first of all. It gets you out of the gym. It's great exercise. We get to spend all, you know, all these adventures together that we can look back on. And um, it's just a great way to see new things, explore new trails that you would have otherwise never really gone to. Um, Charlie loves sniffing out new trails, pooping new places, and making new friends on the trail. So hope to see you guys sometime out there. Before this pandemic, t pandemic recreation for me was a lot of just focusing on the, the physical, mental, and emotional well-being of myself. Uh, but now I've, um, I've really been cleaving to the uh, social wellness that it brings. Uh, with the people that I go out with um, and the relationships with them that I build as well as the connection that I um, bring with myself and nature. I just was raised going camping mainly, like car camping and uh, hiking with my parents. And you know, I don't think they were trying to instill necessarily like a love of the outdoors or anything. It was just something that we did. Um, but by doing that, I did gain an appreciation for being in the outdoors. And so when I had kids of my own, I wanted to give them the opportunity to experience nature as well and to just find their own ways and reasons for why they enjoy it. Now, specifically why I picked backpacking, which we only started doing um, about eh, nine months ago is when we picked it up. And that's when I started watching your channel, just looking for um, gear reviews and things like that. So the reason why I went ahead with backpacking is for two reasons. One, I'm a gear nerd as well. I just love looking up things, love getting the, the best, maybe lightest, maybe not, just the best gear for what we wanna do with it. Um, and second, I think it's important to teach the kids uh, that you need to do hard things. And backpacking is something that can be strenuous, difficult, challenging, and I want to just be able um, to push those guys uh, to see how far they can go, you know, just to see what their limits are um, and to see the amazing things that they can accomplish. I've dealt with some pretty serious depression off and on throughout my life, like many people have and do, and man, when I'm out on trail, that just all goes away. So it's been just imperative to my mental health not to mention the physical challenges of it, which I also love and endure. And the idea of, you know, escaping the busyness of society and just everything that goes on in today's world, you know, have that opportunity to disconnect from, you know, the news and social media and just everything that is easy to get caught up with. And especially now in 2020 with everything going on. Yeah, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to share and I hope that it helps inspire uh, you know, others that might be on the fence or unsure or maybe a little bit afraid of getting out in the backcountry and, uh, you know, face those fears. Start small and like anything else, grow from there. Every year I go farther and I go harder and I'm excited for what the future has to bring. The main, main uh, reasons why, and there are four of them, is number one, the stress factor. Guess what, there is no stress factor. Hiking and backpacking are a moving meditation, and I'm a big yoga guy. And the reason why I do it is to you know, clear my brain, and especially in this day and age with all the craziness, you know? So it's uh, relaxing, and um, it's just 
you know there's no stress and if there is it's temporary like you'd be getting hit by lightning and guess what i've survived it and i have stories to tell and you know running into a grizzly and stuff like that so uh it's just it's just awesome it's just relaxing number two is just the freedom being a self-contained unit everything that you owe own and everything that you need is in your backpack and that's just a great feeling you know when you you knock out that big day um and then it's just like wow it's just no one telling you what to do it's just you know living life kind of on your own terms out there and stuff and then the uh third reason is guess what no day is the same yeah you wake up you make breakfast or whatever you know lunch everyone has their own you know deal with during the day but uh guess what no views or views are the same um he's always you're seeing animal life you know different animals uh you're running into people you know the social aspect of it you know having your conversations you all have all have something in common out there and man, if you can uh, finish the day with an awesome sunset, it's just like cherry on top. Or, you know, wake up and get that sunrise. There you go. So uh, there's the other reason. And then um, lastly is the social aspect, as I briefly mentioned before. The people I'm the tightest with uh, in my life now are all the people I've met over the years hiking, um, you know, hiking the trails and stuff. And uh, I just did the Colorado Trail for a second time. and every town i went into i had people to stay with and people to see it's just the community is so tight and it's just awesome the social aspect is amazing these are the people that are closest to me they're my trail family my trail homies so there you go those are my four reasons and the reason why i continue to hike and uh, still have the passion and the drive to keep on doing it because I'll tell you what, man, this is just those four things right there. Just good for the soul. It's healthy for you. You know, the physical aspect, it's just, it's just amazing. Boy Scouts were also a big, big uh, influence on me, particularly two week long backpacking trips. So these, these were my first experience at backpacking and those were exciting. I think I was hooked at that point. I remember going to the library the public library all the time and checking out as many books as i could find about fishing and backpacking and hiking in the mountains i think this is when it became a part of my dna in 1985 i got married and we moved to the salt lake valley area with the wasatch mountains towering over the valley and the uinta mountains nearby i think my dna was reactivated but other than some day hikes into mostly the Wasatch, I didn't have anybody to go on overnighters with me, so I quickly became discouraged and I gave it up. But the desire was always there. I always looked up to the mountains. Now fast forward to Christmas 2016. My brother came up for a visit from Texas. And almost as a joke, I suggested to him that we go backpack the Una Highline Trail before we get too old. He said that would be pretty cool or something like that. I figured that was the end of it, or so I thought. Well, come about February or so, my brother gives me a call and he says, let's go do this thing. And I thought, oh my heck, are you serious? So we made plans. We went and uh, repurchased almost all of our gear. What we had was old and out of date and broken and, and missing and whatever. Man, we spent a lot of money, a lot more than we, we anticipated. I also had to get in shape. Heck, the most exercise I'd gotten in years was mowing the lawn once a week. So I started walking around town, slowly working up my mileage and my speed. Um, and I also went on a, one of the local trails here in the county where I live. I happen to be walking on that trail right now. I'd bring my backpack with me load it up a little bit more each time I come up, see how far I could go before I could stop. Man, it was discouraging. I, I thought, there is no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Am I too old? Well, I slowly gained confidence by keeping after it. And soon August rolled around the date when we tied, planned on going. Brent flew in from, from Dallas and uh, we headed for the trailhead. Now the UNA Highline Trail is over 100 miles. Oh my gosh, we were ambitious. We had backpacks that were 
so overloaded, so heavy, but we headed out anyway. In retrospect, it's amazing we got as far as we did with the amount of weight we were carrying. But it was it was great. We got to uh, day nine when we had to bail out at that point. I think we'd gotten about 85 miles when we were all done. But because of some logistical problems, and by that I mean poor amateur planning, because we didn't know what we were doing, and some bad weather that had rolled in that day, we decided to, to call it a day and uh, hiked out. But it was amazing. <laughs> I was back. <laughs> the next summer we'd finish the trail. Again, it was amazing. But then, now what am I gonna do? So I just did the best I could and I started doing lots of day hikes into the Wasatch and the Uintas, exploring different drainages, going further and further each time. Heck, but I had a couple 20 plus mile days. I even had a 25 mile day. Not my wildest dreams that I think I'd ever be able to do that. But those were hard days and you could still only go so far. I looked for a, an opportunity to do something to find a way to be able to go overnight. So I heard about solo backpacking. I'd always been told, you know, you don't backpack by yourself or hike by yourself ever. But I thought, is this possible? Did a little more research and I thought, you know what, I, I think this is doable. I learned a lot. I learned how to make yourself as safe as possible. I learned to overcome fears. I increased, continued to increase my fitness level. And last year, I made it happen. I went on three, maybe four, solo backpacking trips last year. Multi-day. Some of them I actually went off trail to link up a couple different trails, going to some areas where very few people travel. It was amazing. I've learned so much. Heck, I've even taken up photography. I'm still a real amateur at that, but I'm really enjoying it. And videography, obviously. I did that because I wanted to share with friends and family some of the adventures I get to go on, especially my dad, because it's because of my dad that I'm here. I've never had in my life more self-confidence than I've had the last two or three years as I've been doing this. And I attribute this to backpacking. And I hope even though next month I'll be 62, I'm not done yet. And I hope to see many more miles on backpacking trails. So why do I backpack? I guess it's because it's in my DNA.